as a gallows towered over him, Captain William Kidd was overwhelmed by the sound of the crowd's murmurings. The pungent smell of sweat mixed with the fear that he had inside of him and the salty taste of regret on his tongue. He had sailed the high seas, once as a commissioned sailor for the British government on a mission to rid the Indian Ocean of pirates. Yet the lure of wealth and the thrill of adventure seduced him. It led him down a treacherous path of piracy and murder. Captain Kidd was captured in 1699 after returning to New York from a failed mission to capture French ships. Kidd had been accused of piracy and his ship was seized by the British authorities. Although he had initially been commissioned by the British government to hunt pirates in the Indian Ocean, he eventually turned to piracy himself and this was the crime. He is said to have attacked a number of ships, including those belonging to the British East India Company, and to have amassed a significant amount of treasure. Kidd's fame as a pirate was further enhanced by the legends and myths that surrounded him, including stories of hidden treasure that he buried in various locations across the globe. Images of his days at sea come flooding back to him. The sound of waves crashing against the hull. The warmth of the sun on his face. The smell of salt in the air and the taste of fresh fish in his mouth. But now it was all for naught. As he stood alone awaiting his final judgment, he was brought to trial at the Old Bailey in London in May 1701, charged with piracy and murder. Kidd pled not guilty, claiming that he had been a privateer and had only attacked ships that were considered enemies of England. However, the evidence presented against him was strong. He was found guilty on all charges. Kidd's story serves as a stark reminder of the perils of greed and corruption. According to historical records, piracy was a common occurrence during the 17th and 18th centuries with an estimated 2,500 pirate vessels in operation at any given time. Despite the efforts of governments to stamp out piracy, the lure of treasure and adventure proved too great for many sailors, leading them down a dangerous path. As the noose tightened around his neck, Captain Kidd's final thoughts were of regret, and the knowledge that his fate was sealed. The crowd fell silent as the trap door opened and he plummeted to his death. After his execution, at an execution dock in Wapping, London, on May 23, 1701, Captain William Kidd's body was tarred and hung in a gibbet over the River Thames as a warning to other would-be pirates. His remains remained there for several years before eventually being taken down and buried in an unmarked grave. This unmarked grave is believed to be in St. Mary's Churchyard. The exact location of Kidd's grave is unknown, though. The churchyard has since been built over and is now the site of a housing estate. So it's quite possible that someone currently sleeps right above the remains of Captain William Kidd. These are interesting things with J.C.